Uh, right, I thought I'd better make a follow-up, really. Custom, custom harmonicas. The only reason why I made the video um, about Ben Beaumont's custom harmonica that I have there, right, is the original reason why I made the video was because somebody asked me, because, you know, we say, we say, you know, special 20, well, I say, Special 20, Homer Special 20. There's some magic about them. They work straight out of the box. Um, and also, um, he knows, the guy that I was talking to, he knows also that the Zydow 1847 is a high quality harmonica. Okay. So he'd ask me, well, then therefore, why, why would somebody want to gap and emboss? Now, this is only my opinion, um, because then I, I then went on a bit of a rant uh, and gave him all sorts of information that is subjective, but then also quite solid. Now, my answer was this. <clears throat> so, so, so the video was just to show, right, um, like, like I got a video, I got, I bought a series of videos from Richard Slay. So if you are thinking about, so I would like to be able to do my own work. When I say I would like to, I actually do do my own work on my own harmonicas. Now, I'm not saying um, that, like, like if I had a mate and he says, and he, and he was in the room with me with his harmonica and he was to say, you know, um, this, this harmonica is doing my head in. Can you have a look at it? Some, you know, I, I would have to sort of say to him that, yes, I will look at it, but um, it, it would come with a risk as in, yeah, a slight risk. Um, when I'm working on my own harmonicas, it's okay for me to take that risk. So therefore, what I'm saying is, I'm, I wouldn't never offer somebody this as a favour or or a service that I would do for people. I just work on my own harmonicas. But as as a mate, I certainly would have a look at his harmonica and and maybe have a go at I don't know whatever it is. Right back to the Richard Slay video so on his website like a, a store it says um it's <clears throat> hot rod harmonica it's a video series of him uh, you know the first one is about gapping another one's about embossing another one's about tuning you know read profile and stuff like that and um it's slightly outdated possibly as in the video is not high definition um, but it, it it shows very clearly, you know, the uh, the 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 target, what he's trying to work towards. He's quite clear and and you know, and you can see what it is the 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 you know the condition of the reed before and what he's moving towards, and and he shows it and it's great and that, and I learned from that. I learned a lot from that. So. So when you've got high quality harmonica already, okay, and one of the things that he said in there was anything you can do to make it more airtight is an advantage, right? And this is what I said to my friend, right? Um, <clears throat> let's say you've got a, a margin of improvement between 1 and 10, Okay, between one and ten. Now, well, you know, um, like like you've already got a quality harp. So let's say now I'm just giving a measurement between one and ten of improving. So the Ben Beaumont harmonica, for instance, improves it up to say let's say the six. Yeah, that's not really. It. I'm not giving him a score, but what I'm saying is. The improvements that I make on my harmonicas are are like, well, for a start, I don't make any. If it works well, it works well. I don't touch it now. 
don't touch a harmonica. Don't I don't open it. I don't touch it. If it works well, I don't bother. Okay. But if I get to uh, a bend that's in a lick that I'm trying to learn, and and it's just sort of like, and I know now what you know, just needs a little little bit of tightening up. Okay. I, I would then open it up, and then maybe just look at that one hole you know read blow and draw gap in gap in initially right um and then and then maybe do one to four holes one to four because they're the ones i'm using mostly on a lick a blues lick for instance okay um so <clears throat> I lost where I was then. I was, so the improvements that I'm making is more like just one. And then maybe I put it back together, see how it feels, and then emboss it maybe if I want it that little bit more better. And so then the improvements is two. Do you know what I mean? That So that's the type of, you know, increment that improvements are that I make to my own harmonicas. Like like you think about it, it's the way I explained it to a friend, right? Yeah. Uh, back in the day, they had, uh, like today, you got power steering on a car. Power steering, you can just sit there and go like that, and, and the whole car will just turn left. You know, um, like my van at work, I've got to turn it three times, for instance, for it to go all the way. But back in the day, you'd have to go... Uh, uh, but 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 people back in that day they just got on with it they just got on with it and that's like harmonicas back in the day people made the most of a marine band um you know with nails in do you know what i mean and whatever else i don't know what else they used um and that that's how it is that's how it is but so so what I'm saying is, right, let's go back now. So there's, there's my sense of improvement, right? So let's say I, I I was buying harmonicas probably very quickly because I, I bought some deals, some bundles and stuff like that, right? Next minute, I've got about 10 or 12 harmonicas. Um, and then, then I start hearing, you know, you know with my first harmonica, I found a video about gapping and embossing my first harmonica, my first marine band. Because I was struggling with hole two, I was trying to make it better. It's crazy. That's not, don't do that. Don't do what I just, don't do what I did, right? Um, so by now, right, a few weeks later, got about 12 harmonicas, yeah? And then they're talking about custom harmonicas and people, oh, custom harmonicas, what does that now mean for me? And they weren't 12, you know, all in the same brand, all different keys. It was, you know, four C's and two A's over there, different brands, different models, two G's over there, different brand, different model sort of thing. Because um, I'm working out which one, which was the best and all that sort of thing, right, yeah. Um, and then oh, I got all these harmonicas and and oh, customized and oh and that's the only way to go. Someone's saying it's, it's it's the only way. So you know, and I'm, oh, man, well, how much are they? You know, and his website says two hundred quid or. And you're like, oh, man. So does that mean? So does that mean? What well, do I need to sell these and then buy a custom harmonica at a time and? Or do I need to send these off and get them customized? And I also I also figured out quickly, right, that <clears throat> that if you go down that route, and like you know Ben Hewlett, he he uses this analogy like strings of a guitar. You get a guitar, and you, and you 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 got to string it and tune it. You can't avoid that unless you want to go, oh, sorry, I can't play that song right now. I can't practice. I need to take this guitar to to a shop, get it tuned by somebody else. Well, what's that about? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like a car. Oh, no, I can't put oil in it. Um, I, I, I can't 
I can't, um, you know, put screen wash in the windscreen wiper thing. I'll have to get a mechanic to come round and, and sort of fill it up. So I'm not having a go at anyone who uses custom harmonicas, right? I'll get to what I'm, I'll get to that in a second, right? Yeah. I'm not, nothing to do with them. That's them. I'm just saying for me. I, I then also thought, <clears throat> right. So if I'm, if I'm getting these works done by somebody else, I'm reliant upon them. Um, it's only me and then therefore if something goes wrong with one of my harmonicas I won't know what to do with it um I, I, you know <clears throat> also maybe this is only me in my in my in my le little question world yeah I get a little question like that and it does my head in for weeks so this is me don't compare yourself to me don't compare me to you or anyone else this is just my life right so <clears throat> so and then then sort of like so you got these custom harmonicas um you know they like 200 quid each sort of thing and and um you know like i want like i want like three of each brand sort of thing I, or or and different models different same keys but different models different and different bra so what and so then what like a a, a non-customized harmonica is it, is it not going to be very good and because i've got these and all that sort of rubbish just kind of round my head sort of thing so you know i continued with the whole sort of like this is my personality my personality uh trial and error make mistakes and you soon learn how to do it right sort of thing you know i watched videos got a rich sleeve video but now i do what i need to do for my needs okay so i am not really encouraging anybody to go and buy custom harmonicas definitely if you are a zydal user <clears throat> and it's birthday time and all that sort of thing or you you know just come into some money and you think oh, yeah i've always wondered what customer you know buy a set or so i do i would say ben beaumont 100 percent, 100 percent. you know the postage was reasonable not just the postage the actual harmonica wasn't much more than they cost in the shops around here so I, I would have been crazy to just go and buy one from a shop down here do you know what i mean it's just it you know i needed a g so i got a g um and and you know like i've showed in the video it, the proof is in the pudding you can see and and when you know the gap that's around the reed that's not what they call gapping that's called embossing it's embossing the 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 gap make the gap smaller there's a difference between gapping and embossing right i won't go into that and this see this is what i said to my friend and this is only my opinion disagree if you like leave a comment <clears throat> custom harmonicas are i say predominantly subjective right now people will get might argue with what i'm saying there like <clears throat> like i know straight away if someone said no they're definitely louder they were you know they're easier to bend that's not subjective i know it i know it he knows it he knows it he knows it i totally agree i, I agree with them okay but if you get three of those pros up on the stage i can name a three but i won't bother you get three of those pros up on a stage playing these harmonicas right <clears throat> the hero is not going to go whoa I bet he's playing a, his, his customer. Whoa, you know, whoa, this is better. I know he gets it from. No, you won't hear it. You'll just hear a great harmonica from a great harmonica player. Yeah. And, and, and I, 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 you can guarantee you give more stock harmonicas and I bet you'd, you know, you'd still get the great stuff. I've heard, I've heard these people, and I did wonder. Oh, 
I wonder if he's like that because it's always custom armor. No, it's not. So I've seen these guys unbox them and play them. So they're good at it anyway. So what I mean by subjective is slightly sub there's this sub subjectivity to it. Okay? It's often their preference. Now whether whether a harmonica is louder, well who's it louder to? Because if you've blown it into a into into a microphone, then the amp's making it louder. But if you're at home playing in front of a YouTube video, the word YouTube is not gonna pick up how loud it is. So it's it the loudness is in my head. In me, you know, the depth and the breadth is in me. Do you know what I mean? So therefore, I'm appreciating it. It's that it's easier for me to play it in that sense. And and this is why, right? Because I went and bought so many harmonicas. I wanted, and this is me. You know, I'm the same with anything. If someone was gives me something, and they say, like, don't get me wrong. If it costs a lot of money. And they said, listen, do not touch it. Don't touch it. it you know, chemicals or um, <clears throat> I'm likely to break it or just screw it up. Then I won't touch it. But nine times out of ten, if someone left something here and they said, oh, we'll give it a go if you want. But I'll be here in the morning. I'll do it for you, maybe or whatever. I'm going to give it a go. I'm, I'm going to give it a go. So, um that's just me. I, you know, if it, if something's mine, then I want to maintain it. I want to know, you know, the guy comes around, the engineer to fix the, the device. I'm watching him. I want to know what he's doing because next time I want to do it myself. So and that's just me. So I just wanted to make that video um, because I don't want to sort of be seen to jump on this whole sort of custom harmonicas. I've got, I've got a theory. <laughs> I've got a theory. Um, some of these guys, right, they're awesome harmonica players and they've got their own harmonicas. Like, um, right, name one guy, he's a great guy, Joe Felisco. So let's use Joe Felisco as, as an example because I know you won't mind me talking about him, right? Great guy, he's got his own line of harmonicas. But Richard Slay as well, they've got their own website. Um, <clears throat> he's got his own website and he, and he works on marine bands. Uh, my theory is, right, these guys, they love harmonica, they play harmonica. It's, it's more or less a job for them, it's a lifestyle, it's, I don't know, vocation, hobby, you know, it funds their income. It's, I think it's, um, this is my theory, it's a bit like a drug dealer who, <clears throat> who, who sells to others so that they can use their own, yeah? And so, so I, I think the likes of Joe Felisco and Richard Slate would have worked on their own harmonicas anyway. Um, but maybe they got so good at it sort of thing that they've basically gone, well, I'll tell you what. Yeah, mate, do you want, I'll do one for you for 100, 200 quid or something. And and there you go, Bob's your uncle. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is, I, I don't think someone just sets out to be a harmonica uh, uh, customizer. I think primarily, Primarily, they love harmonica. They learn harmonica. They work on their own, and they gain understanding. And then, hey, guess what? I can do it for me, plus make a few quid out of it, and maybe make a living out of it, or whatever, and play music at the same time, and enjoy music, and the whole community of of music. The, these guys, you know, the... I don't think any of them are going to become millionaires doing what they're doing. That's why harmonica, the harmonica community seems to be quite humble 
and and a lot of these guys you send them an email or a message they respond and they're quite humble when they you ask them about keys and about theory and about harmonica as long as you don't bombard them with an essay like i have um they respond graciously and with some info it's a great community it's a great community so um i think i've said all i want to say there that that this and this is maybe maybe just my opinion okay the the, the world of customizing right even ben beaumont he sent me a message after i made that video about and it went about his harmonica but it ended with this is a Ben Beaumont and I would recommend getting them from him if you would stick going down that route I've kind of mentioned reasons why I haven't gone headlong into that that area um <clears throat> <laughs> so um so you know um even ben beaumont said sorry right even ben beaumont said that <clears throat> like that harmonica that i had um because i said look thankfully i i can play it now when i first had it it, it was too it was too sensitive um, too responsive I, I was too zealous too hard too too hard drawing yeah um, and now I've matured I'm able to get a full accord on it and stuff like that so now I can play it so I was uh, so I've said been you know thankfully I'm able to play it now it it had more or less been in storage for two years yeah I'd get out now and then um <clears throat> number one i haven't done much on a g harmonica number two it was very sensitive number three it's a classic zydel i mostly used um session steels or rockets and things like that i suppose what i had to do with the zydels was sort of sometimes put them on a back burner go back to a bit of honer for for their easier playing easier bending maybe there was times when i did that um yeah and even he said he's now doing things to harmonicas that it tech little techniques that he didn't know about back then he didn't do it back then because that was two years ago so now they're slightly better um and he said it's these things are minute changes but to the player it can be everything it could be all it can be almost everything yeah to the driver power steering is everything and it probably takes this little tweak somewhere to make it power steering because you power steering it can you can dislocate it and then go back you won't have no power steering. It's a very small thing going on. I don't know whether it's a fuse or whatever it is, a little device, or I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know about nothing about cars, but um, <clears throat> it's, it's it's very small, very small things, right, that make a big difference to the player. So. I'm not saying, I'll finish with this, I'm not saying it's all subjective. I'm saying the topic is largely subjective with some truths in it, yeah? A uh, custom harmonica made by the right person can be louder, yeah? Different cover plates can make it louder, different combs can make it louder, different read profiling make it louder, you know they can be easier to bend and stuff like that um yeah there's 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 certain parts of the whole subject that is subjective 
there's other parts that aren't. I'll end it there. A lot of waffling. 24 minutes. Sorry, guys, but um, I just hope that, I, that I've uh, put it across there. You know why? This is why I'm I'm not saying like don't forget I am. I'm I'm the average man, right? I some days I get ten minutes to play harmonica. I always have a harmonica on me. I rarely go anywhere without a harmonica. Um, some days ten minutes. Sometimes three lots of ten minutes a day. Some days I, I'll, I might have four minutes sat there um, on a good day. Um, to enjoy practice or theory or whatever it is <clears throat> I'm not a musician in that sense where I'm preparing my tools and this is this is also the difference I guess if you are someone who is constantly playing music um, to perform to I don't know record then you're gonna want the best tools in the box you're going to want the best tools and you ain't going to have the time maybe that that I've got sometimes to tweak the harmonica, especially if you go through loads of harmonicas. Anyway, they know about that sort of business more than me. I don't know about I, that. I, that's not me. I, I don't go for it. I, I've never, <clears throat> I've never actually, um, the, the only reason why harmonicas, well, yeah, no, nah, they were side out brasses, they, they were duff. Um, but all my other harmonicas, my first marine band, I still got it. I still got it. I, so I've never sort of like gone, play, 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 boom, so much wrong with it. No, it, no, it ran like that. Other than side out brass. Don't get them. <laughs> <laughs> That's my opinion. They're the only harmonicas where I've gone. Eh, 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 bzz, uh, what's going on here? <laughs> it weren't like it worked all right yesterday. It just sort of there's always, what's wrong with this? Something wrong there, sort of thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're the only ones. <laughs> own a special twenties. They just work. They're good. Yeah, I've bought used ones with dud reeds sold as like that do you know what i mean sometimes played it and it was fine um because i bought them from somebody who was in the industry and they played it a lot and that's how they got to they got to the stage where they're playing it heavy hard on i don't know night in night out and it went yeah that ain't me so there you go everyone's got different reasons for what they do i'm just saying Maybe, maybe another Christmas to come along and <clears throat> and I might get another Ben Beaumont. Um, but I'm not interested in going to get my Hona Rockets customised, not in the slightest. They are lush, yeah. I gap them a little bit, maybe. I emboss them a little bit, maybe. Yeah, um, this is a little bit more, right, you know, researching yeah do you you on custom harmonicas you, you play really well like i'm on facebook group you play really well that's amazing what's going on no i'm not on customized he's the man said yeah i do my own work not everyone does that i know another guy I had lessons with a teacher who, who 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 professionally makes music plays harmonica on a rack guitar yeah and in he he knows about the blues. He plays the blues. He knows about music, plays. And I was talking to him about embossing and gapping. And, and he was like a bit like, no, what are you on about? <laughs> I'm sure he's heard about it, but he was like, no, I don't do that. Just play it. Enjoy it. Yeah. He's like the guy with power, with, without power steering. He just enjoys it. He just gets on with it. He, he, he uses what he's got. Yeah. So there's a, there's a whole thingy. You know, you get an ex-man who, who's professional um, all over YouTube and he'll get a box of customised harmonicas through the post and that's him. 
that's part of his sponsorship and you get an ex-man who who plays like a pro and all that sort of thing music industry teacher and he makes his own harmonic not making them he, he customize his own harmonicas and he customizing other people's you know what I mean? And I, I've heard Ronnie Shellist actually say he only uses stock harps. I'm sure he's had customised. But it, it, I've, I've heard him say he only uses stock harps. So this sent um, an effort to discredit customisers or anything like that. Um, they're great. I've, some of the combs I've seen uh, are made. I've had some custom combs. Some of them look amazing. Sometimes I see Tomlin and a red comb or a blue one with marble in it or whatever, and I'm thinking oh, I would like to have one of them. But I know where they come from, and and postage I, I've I've bought from Blue Moon. The postage to the UK is crazy, so you you need a good reason. Maybe you need to buy five at a time, and then the postage be cheaper in that sense. Um, so. A lot of this stuff is like, yeah, I'd oh, love to have that, <clears throat> but I um, need to weigh it up and, and um, weigh up why you need it and stuff like that. So, yeah, don't, don't, don't take this as a criticism. I'm not having a good, I could say, I'll probably repeat this, but I'm not going to go at anybody who uses custom harmonicas. Rock on, fair play to them. They make great music. Maybe one day, um, do you know what? Maybe one day I won't bother, but I don't think so because I'm happy with what I got. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've got a different category. So, your, your A classic steel so I doubt mine is it's lovely, man. I love it, it's beautiful. And I've done the work on that. My C works well. I might crack it open and have a better look, but it works fine. I love it. It's beautiful. The G come from Ben Beaumont. B flat. I made a video about that. I love it. Do you know what I mean? So, unless it's going to stop working on me, I don't need anything better than that. I love it. Do you know what I mean? That's. So I'm at that stage, I think, where I've gone, right, this is what I need for me. So this video is largely subjective, like the topic of custom harmonicas in the midst of some truths, if that makes sense. Yeah, me and you, we, we could decide, I said this, <laughs> we could decide to not put any more petrol in our cars right and drive around until until they break down right now your car might go for 20 miles my car go for 70 miles you break down on a motorway i break down on a side road there's lots of variables going on there i'm hungry <clears throat> got no money to fill up I ain't got no road assistance, he's, he's got everything he needs, he's got road assistance, whatever. So there's lots of variables, but there's a truth. Don't put any petrol in your car, and it's going to run out of petrol, and you're going to stop, and it's going to break. It won't move until you put petrol in. So that's the truth, yeah? The, the truth is, these things do make harmonicas better. Yeah, but whether you learn to do it yourself or pay someone else to do it is a variable that it is down to the user. I hope that sort of helps in that in that area. You, you know, try not to let yourself go down this rabbit hole of feeling like you're missing out, feeling like you need it to make you this and that. Um, <clears throat> it's a luxury. It's a, luxury, it's a great, fine thing to have. Um, it's just a luxury that's going to improve things. It's not going to complete. Does, these things do not complete. They improve. I'll end on that. God bless.